Hello, my name is Dr. Norbert Fedaci. I'm a lecturer in chemical engineering and I'm the manager of the nanomaterials laboratory here at the University of Edinburgh. Today, I would like to talk to you about the new Wutemaker 3 3D printer. We purchased this 3D printer two weeks ago and we are investigating the use of it in science. One of the scientific purposes I want to use this printer is to make pharmaceuticals with it and combine it with nanotechnology to make better drugs. I also have two students, Michel Wong, who is using this printer for batteries and fuel cells, and another student, Michael Chung, is using it for biomedical applications. So I've implemented the Ultimaker 3 as part of my PhD project, which is focusing on the elaboration of nanostructures, solid state, batteries and fuel cells. So I have two projects for now with the Ultimaker 3. The first one will be to create some kind of mask just like this one. This mask will be deposited on top of the battery support and I will be able to design, to choose where I will put my chemicals in which specific spot I will aim on the battery support. My second project will be to manufacture a layer of pins just like this one. And basically I want to see how my chemicals are going to react to this layer of pins because normally my chemicals are deposited on a flat, simple surface. There's another fancy thing with my chemicals. They have to be deposited onto a conductive layer. So obviously you're not going to manufacture something out of the conductive materials. So what I do is that I coat my sample with something conductive, just like gold, 10 nanometers of gold. The Ultimaker 3 is not the perfect 3D printer. So in my case, I'm working in the nanoscale. So that means that the network of pins I have to manufacture, they have to be as thin as possible, typically lower than 0.1 millimeter. As of today, it is, it is still very hard to achieve that with the Ultimaker 3 because of the lack of small size nozzle, for example. I tried to make, design something small with the software, but you can see that most of the pillar I manufacture are very, very big, and some of them are even destroyed because they were way too weak. My project involves a rapid prototyping of abdominal aortic aneurysms. This is a condition where the aortic wall expands and weakens. It's a particularly serious condition because if the wall ruptures, the mortality rate is 90%. Therefore, it's important to have surgical measures to prevent rupture and this can be aided using a physical model for surgical planning. Such a model can be manufactured easily now thanks to the introduction of 3D printing with the high precision that is available with printers such as the Ultimaker 3. Using CT scans, the exact geometry of the patient's aura can be uploaded into a CAD package and then 3D printed. Since a model like this has such complex geometry, a benefit of 3D printing is to have two extruders, one of which can print a water-soluble support structure to hold up such a geometry as this. Ideally, the model would be made out of a more flexible material to simulate real tissue properties. However, the Ultimaker does not currently support this. It would be better if there was a compatible extruder capable of printing more flexible materials. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.